I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about calculus concepts and contexts. Now, calculus is a pretty wide-spanning subject in, in mathematics, and that calculus, the rough definition of it is the uh, mathematics of change, if you will. And you're basically using calculus to figure out why things change the way they do. And so just a few, a few concepts that you'll run into um, going forward as you go into the calculus world. Now, the first concept that you'll go into is the idea of limits. Basically, you're going to be studying how things, when x's approach a certain value, then what numbers will the y's approach. Basically, we're talking about the values that you'll get as you get closer and closer to a certain uh, number. Now, from limits, you're going to get into a very fundamental idea, and that's differentiation. Sometimes it's called the derivative. they both go hand in hand. And the derivative is finding the rate of change, how things go from one to the next. Now, derivative is often associated with the instantaneous rate of change, what happens to an object at that particular instant or that particular moment in time. So when you say, when you read problems that talk about find the rate of change, find the instantaneous rate of change, or how something will change, basically you have to find what's known as the derivative. And then you get to find the antiderivative, but we call it the integral. And when you want to find the integral, you're often asked to find things like find the area of objects, find the volume of objects, and things like that. But uh, these three ideas really encompass all the calculus concepts and context going forward. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a very brief introduction as to the calculus concepts and contexts.